what is up hashtag free pack it is me Duago and tonight I'm going to be teaching you how to locate secret hidden pictures that discord downloads to your computer without you knowing right after this intro <laughs> Alright, so we are back, and like I said in the title, we're going to help you, or I'm going to help you, locate some pictures that Discord secretly downloads and keeps on your computer, whether you want it or not, and you don't know about it. And this is something that I actually wanted to go ahead and do, to spread awareness, to be careful, because what is it? See, a couple weeks ago, I believe it was, or a few days ago, I don't know, it was, it was a bit of, it wasn't too long ago, but it, it has been a little bit of time now. Where Discord obviously had a current issue with a staff member where they had like, I, they were, I guess they were defending or sharing, uh, what is it, you know, really bad photos that you shouldn't be having, you know, really inappropriate photos or whatnot, and uh, what is it, obviously that's bad, and one thing about Discord is, last night I was cleaning out my computer of uh, freaking unwanted files from, what's it, old games, deleting that, deleting old videos, deleting freaking just random temp files, cache and all that, you know, because I want to go ahead and keep my computer, well, I guess fairly clean in space, so I could go ahead and make room to download more stuff, like more games, and I'm trying to get an SSD soon, because I want to go ahead and be able to download or install some of my games like GTA or Ark over to an SSD, because I want to get my render, or not my render, my loading times faster. And I'm running out of, and I only have one SSD, and um, that's actually my recording SSD, so uh, there's a reason why I can't keep my videos on it, because, well, I record to my SSD, and I know I have hard drives, but uh, I prefer having my SSD as my recording drive, but other than that, let's get to the main point of this video, is like, imagine being on the Discord server, here's my Discord server, by the way, if you want to join mine, link in the description, but imagine being in a server where, you know, you just like, chatting to people like hi look it I got I gotta reply for my bot right however you see all these photos you know of random users you know whoever joins your server right or people send images in the images chat you know like they just go ahead and share stuff right really random like food and all that in here right well Here's one thing that is really, really crazy to go ahead and find out is what if you got raided? What if you join a server that you thought was a cool server to join in and next thing you know there was like a not safe for work channel and you don't like that kind of stuff and you want to avoid it but Discord downloads freaking every single photo that just happens to be uploaded or sent on any server to your computer. Well. This is how we take care of that problem because they actually do not have an ability how to take care of this problem. I just found this out just last night. I'm pretty sure there's people out there that probably already knew about this and I probably just didn't. But I want to share it to those that don't know this. Just like how me, I just figured this out last night. So there's two ways to access how to get into this photo. Or, or access a certain folder. I can't, my English is terrible, so yeah. Anyways, go to Windows. Type in Run. And right here, you get the little pop-up, and you can type in percent, app data, percent, and hit OK. And it'll take you to your name, you know, app data, Romney, and then from here, you can find Discord and Cache. And all you're going to see in here is just file folders, which literally you can't go ahead and even open up at all. They're just random file folders. Like, you have to go ahead and find a certain program that allows you to open these things. Well, uh, by the way, I want to show you a different way how to get into this folder. So, if you don't want to type in the run thing, which is faster, you can always go to here. Pick whatever uh, uh, freaking drive is your freaking, uh, I guess, Discord is installed to. In this case, mine is installed. In, well, actually, I think you have to regardless go to your local disk, actually. Because I don't, even if you didn't install Discord here. I think the file is still going to be, the cache is still going to be in your local disk. So you go to your local disk, uh, you're going to go ahead and go to users, your name, and you want to go to app data. However, you might not see app data. So in case you don't see it, 
you go to view and you want to add hidden items and once you go ahead and check it you could get it roaming and you go to discord and cache and now we're here now you go like okay how do you see these photos dog because all I see is a whole bunch of files that's what I'm gonna show you now so you want to go ahead and go to Windows search here and type in command prompt so if you just type in com it'll pop up here you go you got command prompt in here so now okay what do you do next simple you're gonna type in CD space you're gonna go over here to your folder you're gonna click to the side and it's basically kind of like copying a link you want to go ahead and only highlight from app all the way to cache you want to go ahead and copy and then from there you want to go ahead and hit control V to paste it and now you got this and as soon as you hit enter you are now inside your command prompt is now inside this folder so at first it was in users and your name now it's in users your name app data roaming discord and cache now from here this is where we're going to do the interesting part you're going to type in r e n space star which is what is it uh the button or the star symbol of the number eight you hit shift and then eight and you get the star in case you don't know how to do that i'm telling you how space star and then you're gonna go ahead and hit period or dot and then p and g now from there you're gonna go ahead and hit enter obviously i already done this so for me it's just duplicated items for you it wouldn't go ahead and do that so don't worry anyways as you could tell all of these or majority of these became PNG files now and here's one thing at the very bottom corner there's what is it that says display items by using large thumbnails you want to click that in the bottom corner BAM hidden images that just get downloaded to your computer literally just hidden images that get downloaded to your computer a lot of these stuff I did not send I did not go ahead and download. I didn't do anything. Discord auto downloads all this stuff just randomly to your computer. Discord literally just goes ahead and just downloads all of this without you knowing. And imagine being raided. Imagine joining the not safe for work server that you didn't know was a not safe for work server because obviously there's servers out there where they have it to where the actual like channel is hidden and nobody can access unless you have a certain role right or you approve to actually look in the server but still even if you don't approve even if even if you didn't know they had a not server channel or anything like that imagine all the freaking photos people had sent downloaded to your computer not just that but let's go ahead and take this into other matters let's say it wasn't just uh what is it you know the photos being downloaded People could upload music files, people could upload video files, people could go ahead and upload a virus, you don't know, people could upload anything. What if someone uploaded viruses on Discord and Discord auto downloaded that to you in a cache? Next thing you know, your computer could be infected with a virus. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't want that. And for one thing, it's filling up your hard drive space slowly. And another thing is that's just kind of scary because Discord doesn't natively show you how to delete all this stuff. Now if you want to delete it, it's really simple. You go into the folder, you're just going to highlight everything, obviously. And you're just going to go ahead and right click and hit delete and delete it all. Uh, what is it? I'll do that later. But that's literally all you're going to go ahead and do. And it's very kind of odd that... I mean this is not like a transparent thing that a lot of people don't know about and I mean I'm pretty sure there's people out there that obviously if they're like you know power users on PCs and they know a lot of stuff on how to mess with a lot of configuration files of certain applications if they know how to access obviously the cache on the different apps uh, what is it they might know all this stuff but for someone that's not really you know, used to doing stuff like this that I just showed you. I mean, obviously you're not gonna know and have any clue or idea. And that's why I wanna spread a bit of awareness to be safe out there, you know, because 
You never know. What if someone uploaded a virus and your computer downloaded? Rip computer, right? What if someone freaking was sending inappropriate photos and next thing you know your computer downloads it and I don't know. Like all of a sudden, what if someone like was using your computer and found that? You're just gonna go ahead and be really like embarrassed and you're gonna go ahead and be really mind fucked on like how the hell did that get there if you yourself didn't download that stuff. So, I mean, you could go ahead and try that for yourself if you want to. You know, see what the heck Discord ever downloaded for you. But, yeah, it's really crazy and really odd. And hopefully this video helped you out on how to clear out some unwanted photos, unwanted cache. Save some space on your drive. I mean, how big is this folder? How big is this cache folder? Properties. 390 megabytes. I mean, this is close. Very close to half a gigabyte. That's a half gig that I could be using on a freaking small game. Like, there's a lot of games out there that are, like, really close to... I believe Minecraft, be before you actually get on the world or start playing, I believe it's actually, like, 200 megabytes. I mean, that's basically Minecraft installed on your computer right there. Like, what the hell? Come on. And that folder is only gonna get bigger the more you use Discord. So... Hopefully this video helped you out, and if you could do me the favor, go to my channel, subscribe, hit the bell notification, if you want to become a member, you can, and check out the description as well for ways to support me, maybe you could go ahead and help me get me a freaking hard drive, you know, like a terabyte drive if you do donate or something, so I could go ahead and install games, like literally, this drive right here, this drive right here, these are literally just game drives, literally just game drives in here. These literally just have game drives. Well, this one has backup stuff in it for my PC, but it has just basically a lot of games, like my Steam library and all that kind of stuff in there. So, I mean, they're just used for games. And this is just my drive that has it, all my programs installed. But, yeah. That's it for tonight's video. If you also want to join my Discord server, again, link in the description down below. And see y'all in the next video or live stream I do on this channel. And peace out. Hash your free pack. Again, stay safe. And... Yeah, RarXD.